Living with diabetes is not a choice nor becoming its slave. There is a choice to be made and a change in living style that is beneficial for your diabetes. Before you fall into the living with diabetes vibes, you need to quickly get yourself acquainted with the diabetic types. Fast recap, there are three primary sorts of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes, your body doesn't make insulin. This is an issue since you need insulin to take the sugar glucose from the nourishments you eat and transform it into vitality for your body. You have to take insulin consistently to live. Type 2 diabetes, your body doesn't make or use insulin well. You may need to take pills or insulin to help control your diabetes. Type 2 is the most widely recognized sort of diabetes. Gestational diabetes, some ladies get this sort of diabetes when they are pregnant. More often than not, it leaves after the child is conceived. Well, regardless of whether it leaves, these ladies and their kids have a more prominent possibility of getting diabetes sometime down the road. Recap, you are valued by your family and your healthcare team, it is a reminder. Before you make dietary changes, it is advised to contact your diabetes doctor. Please take diabetes seriously, living with diabetes is difficult in the start but your new change is what you admire in the future. Try to check with your primary care diabetes physician before making way of life changes or attempting new enhancements. This is especially significant on the off chance that you have issues with glucose control or in the event that you are taking meds to bring down your sugar levels. That being stated, in the event that you are diabetic or have issues with glucose control, at that point you should begin taking care of business as quickly as time permits. You should spare your graphs and take them to your following encounter with the specialist. When recording your outcomes, likewise make certain to log the date and time of the test, any drugs you're pre-taking, just as the dose, medical history, when did you take it, the test was previously or after a dinner, nourishments you ate, if after a yummy dinner, note the sugar substance of that meal, any exercises you did that day and when you did them, testing tips, the fingers generally offer the most precise outcomes. A few tests permit you to prick your thigh or arm, however, you have to check with your primary care physician before doing as such. As indicated by the Mayo Clinic, your primary care physician will probably suggest a couple of tests for each day on the off chance that you take insulin, the specific number relies upon the sum and sort of insulin. Inquire as to whether and how frequently you should test yourself on the off chance that you don't take insulin. You may consider testing when suppers to perceive how your eating regimen influences blood glucose. It's particularly imperative to test in the wake of eating straightforward starches or sweet nourishments to ensure your glucose isn't excessively high. Basic effects. Dealing with yourself and your diabetes can assist you with feeling great today and later on. At the point when your glucose is near typical, you are probably going to have more vitality. Be less drained and parched, pro tip, keep yourself hydrated. Need to pass pee less frequently. Better healing progress have less skin or bladder contaminations. Why deal with your diabetes? You will likewise have less possibility of having medical issues brought about by diabetes, for example, respiratory failure or stroke, eye issues that can prompt difficulty seeing or going visually impaired, torment, shivering, or deadness in your grasped feet or hands, additionally called nerve harm, kidney issues that can make your kidneys quit working, teeth and gum issues, Living with diabetes at home, testing versus the clinical testing self observing your glucose is vital for deciding how your diabetes is getting along regularly. It's preposterous to expect that a couple of tests a year at the specialist's office can give an exact depiction of your condition since glucose levels vary for the duration of the day. In any case, this doesn't imply that home tests ought to supplant your ordinary preventive testing either. Notwithstanding self-checking at home, your primary care physician will probably suggest an A1C test. It quantifies how your blood glucose has been averaging throughout the last a few months. As per the American Association for Clinical Chemistry, A1C tests, the A1C is a blood test that quantifies your normal glucose level in the course of recent months. It is not the same as the glucose checks you do every day, are requested up to four times each year. Getting normal lab tests can likewise assist you in deciding how well you're controlling your diabetes. They'll likewise support you and your medicinal services group choose how regularly to utilize your home test, just as what your objective perusing ought to be. A message for you, my reader, living with diabetes is a slow and steady process, where the mitigation is dependent on your food intake, exercise, go for morning walks, jog and most importantly, stay motivated and hydrated. 
Living with diabetes is just like a lifetime lesson to be good, thankful, and opt for healthy choices. It is there to balance your diet and remind you your importance to your family members. Regularly communicate with your healthcare professionals about how to deal with your A1C, blood weight, and cholesterol. This can help bring down your odds of having a heart failure, stroke, or different diabetes issues. Take things easy with your living with diabetes.